Hi guys, it's Andrew here for Tutorial Soup. How are you guys doing? Um, in the last tutorial I showed you how to uh, pretty much uh, make a spaceship move up and down. Um, we basically gave some functionality to our animation so uh, we were able to well actually move the object around the screen or move it up and down anyway. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you um, how to check for boundaries so when when our ship goes here when it gets to the bottom of the screen we want it to be game over uh, when we when the ship goes to the top we want it to stop uh, basically there are the only two boundaries we need to check for because uh, we can't go left or right so we don't need to check for those so it's a fairly simple process um, we're going to move down to our animate function just after the um, just after this bit here so we're going to want to say if red ship dot y is less then zero then do whatever's between these brackets so we're gonna say we're gonna want the ship to stop at the top of the screen so we're gonna say red ship dot y equals zero so that's just those few lines of codes there should enable us to stop there you go so the ship now stops at the stop <laughs> sorry I can't speak uh, the ship now stops at the top of the screen that's what you get for drinking alcohol before a tutorial um, <laughs> right so that's that boundary done so that was pretty simple enough uh, just these few lines of code made that happen so so now we want to make it game over when the ship actually uh, hits the bottom of the screen but to do this um, we need to create another variable um, which is going to be called play game um, now this much much like the click down variable is going to hold a true or uh, true or false value say so the game's going to be playing or the game isn't going to be playing so if we go down to the initiate function initially we want the play game to be false uh, so if we have any other things going on like start screen or any other kind of events that are happening we we, uh, we want the game to uh, be false so that it doesn't play um, before we before we want to actually play the game um, now when we actually start the game we're gonna we're gonna make it so play game equals true so this may be so say say when we initially uh, when we when we load the init function, it may initially uh, it may initially load a start screen. So it's say if that start screen loaded up, we don't want the game to play in the background. So initially we want it to be false, but then if the game does start, then we uh, we we put it to true. So. If we set a condition here, so if play game, which just is a shorthand way of saying if play game is true, then set the timeout. So the condition here, as before, it just 
it just would initiate the set timeout function and it would do uh, it would automatically go through the animate function every 33 milliseconds but the condition here is that the play game uh, variable has to uh, be true in order for this to be carried out so that gives us a way of uh, controlling when the game is um, when the game is running and when the game isn't so now we've put that all in place um, we can check for the other boundary so red ship dot y is more than oh sorry I've got something uh, red ship dot y plus red ship dot height so that's the that's the uh, y axis and the height of the ship added together so is more than canvas height then perform this whatever's between these brackets if this condition is met we want it to stop the game so play game equals false so if I now run this there you go when it hits the bottom of the screen the animation uh, the animate function um, is isn't loaded anymore so it just completely stops everything um, if you go to the top of the screen it stops dead so we so we can't pass to the top of the screen and there we go so that's the boundaries checked so to summarize it, we create a play game variable set it to false um, initially and when the start game function is run uh, we put it to true and set the condition that the animate function only runs when the play game uh, variable is true and we checked for um, boundaries so we checked for when the ship goes to the top of the screen um, it stops and when it hits the bottom of the screen um, the play game uh, variable is false which means this doesn't happen and then everything stops animating uh, that was a pretty short one guys hope you uh, hope it was pretty clear hope you enjoyed it um, please um, if you like my other videos please subscribe to my channel um, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial